what's up guys funky popeye here yeah um i know most people don't start commentaries this way but i'm just here to show you that i'm level one and i have negative 17 yeah continuing 30,000 40,000 xp i was playing cod for third person cage match because i wanted to get some kills with my sniper rifle the um the bolt the semi-automatic one the EBR or whatever. I wanted to get uh, a cog for it. I thought it'd be cool. Uh, the guy showed like is spinning around, so I'm like, oh, easy kill, kill him. Oh yeah, and I speed the game up a little bit because it was per a very long TDM, so I just put it right into the action. Yeah, so I killed the guy. And I said negative 10,000 XP. I left the game. I looked at it, and then it was like, okay, just keeps going down and down and down and down. So I, that kind of made me a little angry, but I guess that's what I get for getting in a 10th lobby for this game because I was a little slow on buying it. COD 4 is one of the most balanced CODs in my opinion. I really like it. Reminds me of Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Source, I'm a big fan of that game. I don't know why. I know they're totally two different, two totally different games and people do it. Oh, you're comparing COD to Counter-Strike? That's sacrilege. Counter-Strike's like the best game ever. But, ah, uh, Mediocre Puma just gave me this idea, because most people aren't really interested in gameplays or talking about them, so I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was 10, I was diagnosed with a Wilms tumor, which is cancer of the kidney. I had it in my left kidney. I, I just thought, uh, when they removed my kidney I, after the surgery, I thought it was just like a tumor, and then my mom, you had, yeah, here, fast forward to the end, my mom, you had cancer. Like, oh, that's awesome, I beat cancer. She's like, it's not that easy, and then I was, I was only like 9 or 10. <clears throat> Excuse me, she was like, you have to go through a thing called chemotherapy. I was like, what's that? She said, that's where they put medicine in you through this knee, through like, through, through like an IV needle type thing that into a port that connects to your heart that will pump the medicine through your bloodstream. I'm like, oh, so it's just sort of like medicine through an IV. And then she's like, it doesn't kill, just, it's like, the way she put it for me was like in child's terms since I was only 10, she's like, okay, the cancer cells are like the bad guys, and your white blood cells are the good guys, they fight the bad guys. There are only a little bit of white blood cells because they're, they're fighting a lot against the cancer. So when they give you the chemotherapy, it's not just going to kill the cancer, it's going to kill everything. So you're going to feel a little sick. Wilms tumor's not that serious of a thing, so the chemotherapy was not hard. Well, it was, it was tough. It's not like, oh, lemon walk, uh, cake walk. It's a lemon walk. It's retarded. I said retarded, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, shut up, Johnny. I'm, I'm in a party with Mediocre Puma and Nard right now. So, like, after... Yeah, they just said hello. Um, After I had, um, like, chemotherapy, I was like, oh, I'm feeling no side effects. And then my mom's like, you're not going to feel them right away. So I felt a little discouraged. Next morning, I felt terrible. I felt like vomiting and everything. And it's just terrible like fast forward it again yeah sorry about that eight minute gameplay no one wants to watch that so it was like a tough six months it was, all, it was like it seemed like it was harder on my mother than it was on me but after that everything was cool i grew my hair back i had a cool story to tell my kids if i have any just pretty i, I don't want any kids though stupid it's hard to hate children um so uh, a couple of years later, at 12, I start getting those p terrible pains on my left, on the same side again. My mom's like, oh, uh, go through. I had tons of ultrasounds. Yes, I know they're more for pregnant people, but that's what they gave me. Like, almost 20 of them. And then they just decided, we don't know what it is. We're going in. Oh, that's what she said. But, yeah, they did. They cut me open. Nine hour intense surgery. Did not like it at all. I woke up the next day, my doc, my surgeon was there, Dr. Flake, I call him Frosted Flake, when I was little, uh, he, he's like, Nerez, big boy now, it looks like Wilms, I was like, oh man, got pretty upset, and then my, my, what's it called, my oncologist, yeah, oncologist was like, alright, let's place the, um, the port now, let's get the chemo going, let's get this over with, alright, let's start over, my doctor, my surgeon's like, I'm not doing anything until I know it's officially well, so I went home, can barely walk, it's terrible, Foley catheters suck, by the way, that's when they put a tube down your pee hole, because you can't pee, like, they put, they put, like, mine, I woke mine, yeah, I know, Johnny, it's gross, he said, ew, Puma said, ew, so I woke up with it, um, 
inside of me, I was like, oh crap, not this again, because I had tons of them when I was 10. I woke up and I was like, oh my god, and then they pulled it out, terrible burning sensation. Uh, so, yeah, chemo this time around was not easy at all. They had to give me intense chemo along with radiation because uh, they wanted to make sure everything was dead, completely dead. Oh, crap, I wish I didn't cut out all those parts, now I'm running out of time, so I might continue this in a part 2 on a different game. But, okay, I'm wasting time right now, so yeah, chemo this time around killed, like, everything. I had to get so many blood transfusions, platelet transfusions. Oh, God, it was terrible. Like, I, like one time I had to go get a blood transfusion, I, I fell down in the parking lot, I couldn't even hold up my own weight. My mom was, like, crying, she couldn't, like, she couldn't carry me, because I'm freaking pretty, I'm not fat, but I'm bigger than her, I'm taller than her. So she fat too, so she had to find out, so she was praying to God, she was praying to God, she was like, oh my God, please God, help me get him in the hospital, and all she sees in the distance is a wheelchair, and she runs, she le I'm on the floor, she runs over there and gets it, I'm in the wheelchair, and she brings me into the hospital, get my blood transfused, gameplay's over, I'll continue it next time.